Hi, my name is Ashley Allen, and I'm the CEO at IT Equality. Today, I'll be walking you through some advanced template topics with Salesforce CPQ. Let's get started with the template that we were using in the last video. Here you can see we have some of our template information filled out. It's currently in development, so only system admins can see it. I've filled out our company address and everything else is default. So right now, if we generate this document, I'll just tab over. I already have the quote generate document pulled up on this tab. If we preview our template right now, this is what it looks like. We have our company name, our slogan, our address, and all of these are being pulled from the template directly. I don't have a fax number, so I would need to remove fax from this template. I filled out our phone number, and so here we have our template information. Ship to and bill to are coming from the account, so we can fill that out and then take a look at our account address and how that pulls through. But more importantly, we're going to look at these terms and conditions. So the same way that our company address is pulling from our template, we can have terms and conditions pull from our template as well. So let's go back to our template. All right, here's our company name, slogan, phone number, fax that's missing. We're also going to add a logo to this. If we edit our terms and conditions on our template, we'll be able to pull in static terms and conditions for this particular quote template. So here I'll put All right, test terms and conditions for this template only, and I'll click on save. So now that I have these terms and conditions, if I go back to our document and I regenerate our document, it's going to pull in the new terms and conditions. And here we can see on our screen, test terms and conditions for this template only. So that's a really basic way to have terms and conditions, but you may have reusable terms and conditions that apply to several different quote documents. In that case, you would want to make terms and conditions as a quote section. So we walk through making the top, bottom, and lines for your quote sections. Today we're going to walk through making a terms and conditions quote section. So let's go back to our quote template. We'll go to related and under sections we'll make a new section. We'll call this terms and conditions one because we can have several of these and for content we don't have any terms and conditions content so we'll have to make that. We're going to choose quote terms and continue. And this will look somewhat like when we made our quote line. There's not much to configure here. So I'll go ahead and call this terms one. All right, and we'll save that. Perfect. So now we need to go back to our quote template and add these terms one as a related section. All right. We'll call this terms one. And we'll add terms one over here. Give this a display order of four so that it shows up after the template bottom. And save that. All right, so now we have an empty placeholder for terms to show up. If we were to generate our document at this point, there still won't be much to look at. 
All right, here we go. Yep, there's nothing there. So what we have to do next is to make actual quote terms. We'll click on the app launcher and type in term. We have quote terms right here. So we'll go ahead and make a new quote term. We'll call this print order one because it's the first term in a list of terms. And again, this is a draft, so it's visible to admins. We'll activate this and we'll add in here reusable quote terms. We can format this using any of the rich text format available to us with images and links here. And we'll attach it to our terms right here under content and save this. All right, so now our reusable quote term has been created. If we go back to our template and preview again, this time we should see both of our terms. Here we go. We have our test terms and conditions for this template only, and we have our reusable quote term down here. Awesome. All right, so this can be reused multiple times. You can have dozens of quote terms, and you can pick and choose which terms are included on which documents. So this is a great way to reduce the number of overall templates you have by making reusable components. Awesome. So let's take a look at some of the other areas in here. Right now, we don't have a logo in our template and this unit price seems to be a little squished. We need to make this a little bigger. Um, so let's take a look at how we might do those things. If I go back to my template, we'll go to our terms here. All right, quote templates. And if I look at the lines, there's a width that's allowed for each of these lines. All of these, if they add up to the same number, then they'll be the same size, but it, you can make them so that they extend off of the page and we wouldn't want to do that. So in order to make the unit price um, show up a little bit smaller, over here, unit price, or to make this a little bit bigger, let's add some pixels here and remove some pixels from description. Let's see, this one has 10 and this one has 50. So let's go ahead and edit the unit price so that it has 15. All right. Let's go ahead and edit the unit price so that it has a width of 15. We'll save that. And now we'll edit description so that it has 45. Here we go, width 45. Now if I save this, and regenerate, again, let's preview. The unit column should have a little more space. Perfect, so there we go, we just changed that. All right, next we need to have a nice logo. We want our company logo on this document. So let's close out of here, and for a minute, we're going to go back to Classic in order to go to our CPQ app in Classic and we'll navigate to the Documents tab. We're going to make a new document called Company Logo. Perfect. And we'll add this to the Steelbrick CPQ template resources. From here, we'll upload our company logo. Perfect, and click Save. All right, we need to make this externally available, so let me just edit this really quick. 
Perfect. Now in the URL at the top of the screen, we'll see the Salesforce unique ID for this record. I'm going to copy that and then go back to our quote template. We'll just take a look at this in Classic since we're already in Classic. For this logo document ID, we'll paste that in there and save. All right, and now we can go back to Lightning and preview this quote one more time. And let's see what that looks like. We'll click on preview. Perfect. Our logo's in the top of the page. Our unit price is no longer squished. Let's say we wanted to remove this facts from the page because we're not using facts. We just don't need that field. We can go back to our quote templates. We'll go to our template top because that's located in the top part of our template. And then we can click on the content directly from the related list. There's no need to go to the section and then go to the content. All right, we'll click on edit. And then we'll find our facts right here and just delete this line. Here we go. I'll save that. And now when I go back to our template and I regenerate it again, fingers crossed, we won't see facts. Perfect. Now facts is gone. All right, so that's a little bit about editing and managing templates.